check it now because I uh, flipped the screen. Peace and salutations to Sasaki, pushing his word in sincerity, truth, and charity. Uh, to take today's uh, lesson is uh, pretty much uh, fuck your emotions. What did the Lord say? Because that's what that what we teach, man. According to what the Lord said, man, we ain't sparing nobody's feelings and emotions how they feel, man. And you guys that want to uh, be in your feelings and emotions and, and uh, add on to the words of the Lord. And uh, bear false witness against his men, man. Most eyes will destroy your ass, man. Okay. I got two quick ones for you. Okay. Is Isaiah chapter... Actually, I got three, so I can't. Yeah, is. is Isaiah chapter 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. There's no light in you, man. You know, you're still lost. You know so much. I'm telling you guys that, that know you Israelites, man. Not everybody know the Israelites. The most I not... You're not dealing with everybody that know the Israelites, man. You can still be lost and know that much that you're Israelite, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got uh, this one, too. This is uh, Revelation 22. And um, start at 18. It says, For I testify to every man that heareth the words of this prophecy, of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are read in this book. Mm -hmm. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, or of the book of this prophecy, the Most High Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. God, man, we teach according to the volume of the book. We just don't believe all the, just the New Testament or just the Old Testament, man. You know, we teach the whole Bible, man. All right? And you guys, um, adding on to, you know, this ain't saying this based off what you feel in your opinion and your damn emotion, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Most eyes gonna destroy your ass, man. You're not gonna be delivered uh, from that second death, man. You're gonna be destroyed, man. That's right. All right. I got this too as well. Uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mind, man. Yeah, man. You pull puff the old man, man. Yep. And, you know, these guys, uh, a lot of brothers say that they're uh, uh, Western. Westernized. Well, Westernized yeah. Israelites. Yep. All right. Yeah, you know that you're Israelite. But your mind is still westernized. Like, you know, yeah. the, the inspiration of this video was basically that dude, uh, Captain T uh, Tazarian, yeah. you know, with uh, uh, this whole situation about, you know, um, uh, yeah, David, King yeah, David, King David, you know, uh, basically having a young woman, man, you know, and basically dealing with that whole situation. You know, we're not going to get into, you know, uh, you know, the whole marriageable age you know, of a woman and all that. Right. But what we're getting, uh, the point that we're getting at is you guys have a, a westernized mind frame okay yeah. and it's basically um throwing off your judgment man right. you still have that uh that american babylonian uh, mindset man yeah and then they call you to bear false witness on brother you ain't got no proof brother That's dealing with 13 year olds man we don't teach that man we teach what the scriptures say man we ain't telling brothers to deal with no 13 year olds or 14 year olds man we he saw even uh queen man yeah. so we call it that man so we post we ain't dealing with no 13 year olds man in the scriptures say, man, all things are lawful but not expedient. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it, it technically, according to the holy scriptures, it's lawful for you to deal with the younger woman, man. Okay? Right. But in this kingdom, is it wise? Because that's basically what that expedient goes into. Yeah. Being wise. Is it a wise thing? Is it a profitable decision for you to do this? Of course not, man. You because you get your ass locked up, man. Yep. We're yep. still under this uh, Roman captivity, man. All right? This Edomite captivity. There's still laws set up. In this system that you gotta abide by, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Kai and the brother made a good point, man. Uh, uh, is he from Las Vegas? I yeah, the, the the Vegas brothers. Yep. Yeah, 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 man. He was like, man, it don't give that that the, the actual age she was, man. It just said she was a young young dancer, man. So she could have been thirteen, or she could have been eighteen, man. Who knows? We know she was young. The script to say it, man. Yeah. All right. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Mm. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, mm -hmm. and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So when it says, Cry aloud, spare not, that's mean to confess and not spare people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, because the main reason why you niggas are all butthurt over the gospel, all right? Is because the Lord really ain't dealing with you. That's yeah. all. Yeah. That that's the real reason why you so butthurt about this gospel. Something came up when you was reading this truth. All right, it presented itself as a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. You got all hurt over it, and now the Lord ain't dealing with you. Yeah, I got this for you. Go ahead, brother. Let's Let's go ahead, <laughs> Matthew's eleven uh six, eleven six, like you. And blessed is he who some ever is not offended in me. Ooh. So you're offended, man. So you're not yeah. blessed by the Lord, man. Because you're offended, man. Yep. As 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 um what it's saying, man. God. Yeah, we know that Yahweh Shah is that uh, that stumbling block, mm -hmm. you know, that rock of offense, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Yahweh Shah is what? This word, man. Alright, so this word is a, a stumbling block unto you. See, these guys, yeah, they, they put it like this. They, they like, you know, let's say 95, even 99% of, you know, the Bible. Yeah. But that one little percent, though, you got offended by it. And you're not, you're, uh, that's going to lead you to your death, man, mm -hmm. because you don't accept it. And what you're doing is, as the scriptures say, you're adding unto it, and you're uh, taking away as well, man. Alright? Mm -hmm. And, and we read it in that Revelation, the 22nd chapter, that by you doing that, what's going to happen to you now? You're gonna be put to death, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 these that's, that's, um because um how Shai gave um the told the disciples the like the, the parable of the sower. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah that, that's that's, that's, that's these niggas, man. Yeah, it's Matthew thirteen <laughs> yep. and twenty. But he, but so he. Like, can you start maybe at nine? Okay, I start now. What happened? Oh. This is how how to handle this, man. We ain't telling nobody to go out rape no damn women, man. The laws not to be passed away. Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, it's a lot, yo. Find something. Kai, Kai. Uh, read again. Uh, this is Matthew 13 and 9. You have ears to lift here. Let him hear. You know, what's your proof that that the, the men uh, yeah. you, you accuse of doing this thing? What's your proof at, man? You just saying they doing it. And most I, that shows y'all don't fear the Lord, man. That's why the most is going to destroy you niggas, man. Facts. All right. So, what would you mean? Uh, ten. Okay, God, God, uh, this is Matthew thirteen and ten, and the disciples came to say unto him, "Why speakest thou unto them in parables?" Mm -hmm. Because the main here's the point: most I don't want all Israel to get this, man. He's only dealing with a select number of men, the elect, man. Only the elect is gonna understand this, man. All right, the two thirds they just gonna stay lost to the Lord destroy the ass, man. Yeah. It's all part of prophecy, man. It says the disciples came to say unto him. Why speakest thou to them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. So the Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man. He's he, he not even he's not dealing with you Edomites. He's not dealing with you other heathen nations. He's not even dealing with two thirds of you niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans right now, man. Yeah, and there's a lot of them that are of the circumcision, man. Exactly. A lot of you are actually a part of the circumcision where you know that you're Israelite, okay? You do know that, you know, you might be from this tribe or that tribe, you yeah. know? But, look, if you're not ultimately a part of the uh, the Israel of the Most High, Yahweh, the Israel of God, as it's spoken about in Galatians 6, chapter, man, you're through. You're not a part of the elect. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're not a part of the elect. Because, look, somebody's got to uh, play the role of a false prophet, yep. as the scriptures talk about, the false pastors and all mm -hmm. that. Somebody's got to play that role, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and it just so happens that look with with the way things are going, man. You know, uh, you know, you got the Captain Cesariac, you know, IUIC, Israel of God. We got on the uh, mm -hmm. Monday, uh, ISUPK. A lot of you guys are in these congregations. You are not the men of the Lord, man. At and all, it's evident, man. At all, man. So it's, it's more to it just just knowing you Israelite. That don't mean the most sides dealing with you. It's because you know you're Israelite, man. 
All right, uh, this is up. I'm gonna go back to Matthews and read this. Uh, this Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Mm. That's even <laughs> the breakdown of scripture. You despise that, you gonna be destroyed, man. Because you and your feelings, you know. Oh man, I don't, I don't believe it. that westernized mindset, man. Mm -hmm. You know, what well, Esau taught you niggas, man. Like, here's, here's, here's the crazy part, man. Esau tell you these things, he do it his damn self. Matter of fact, he deal with women younger than 12 years old, and man. And he does it unrighteously. Yeah. Right. So this man's a damn hypocrite, man. Come on, let me, uh... Hey, this is how Titus 1, <laughs> and, uh... I'm gonna start at 9. Start Titus 1 and 9. It says, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. All right, and as the brother just mentioned, for there are many unruly and vain talkers mm -hmm. and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, because you got many Israelites out of here, out here, all right that have fall victim to many of these stumbling blocks and they're not humbling down and confessing the fact that they've been uh, uh, snared by these stumbling blocks, but yet they still go out and preach. They still go out and scoff, all right? They, yeah, internet groupies, mm -hmm. keyboard boxers, all right? These guys are everywhere, causing a ruckus and chaos, mm -hmm. all right? Don't want to humble down and admit the fact that, hey, you know what? I am kind of butthurt about this, but Lord, take this spirit off of me. No, what do you want to do? You want to buck up at the scripture. You want to buck up at the men of the Lord. And as the scripture says, all right, you're not really bucking up at us. You're really bucking up at Yahweh Bashem Yahweh That's fact, yep. And that's why when you do that, the Lord ain't dealing with your ass. And that's why, as we said before, that's why you're really upset that you, 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 you can't get this because the Lord took the spirit off of you. Because you got all sensitive and shit, all right? And now you, you, you can't deal anymore. As the scripture continues and says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy mm -hmm. lucre's sake. Yeah. All right? And I'm going to skip down can, to... Can you go uh, back up a little bit, though? No, read that same verse. Can you... Uh, verse 11? Yeah, read that again. It says, whose mouths must be stopped. Yeah, your mouths must be stopped, man. That's why we defend the gospel. Look, to be honest, man, we, we have a, a slew of topics that we should be getting into prophetically, man. Yeah. All right? There's so much prophecy going on. We should be uh, dealing with that. But as the scriptures say, we got to contend for the faith and defend the gospel, man. All right? This is, uh, we're doing this basically for the, uh, uh, the elect, elect, man. The elect, that's you it. know, for the newcomers. You mm. know, they may not know, you know, these breakdowns. So we got to edify, man. Okay? Yeah, it's all it is for elect. So, because at the end of the day, if the most I don't want you, you could be as plain as as you can break down the scriptures. If the most I don't want you, you're not going to get it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So your miles must be stopped. So we got to, you know, slice up that doctrine that they come out with, man. Mm -hmm. You know, keep going. Okay. And it says, who subvert whole households. Yeah, because a lot of you guys, man, you, you basically, um, you play uh, with people's emotions. Yeah. Then you, then you take down a whole, literally whole households, man. A man, his his wife, his children, you know, they 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 they, they uh start following you, man. Hey, but as the scriptures say, hey, the blind lead the blind, blind, and they both fall into the, the ditch. ditch. So ultimately, the Lord didn't want both of you punks, man. Yeah, that's all, right? that's all it is, man. That's how you gotta look at it, man. You know. Yep. Is there more to that? Oh yeah, I just wanted to get. Hey, I wanted to. Uh, hopefully, my phone don't start messing up on me. Uh, I wanted to get that word uh, subvert. Uh. Check the last G three ninety six. On a trip though. On a trip though. Okay. On a trip though. And it says to overthrow, overturn, destroy, to subvert. Strong's definition to overturn, overthrow, subvert. So when you will you go into that again, it says whose mouths must be stopped, who destroy whole houses. Mm. And how do you destroy these these households? By leading the sheep astray, preaching the wrong doctrine. Hey, and the Lord said, hey, it'd be better if you put a millstone around your neck and go, basically, nigga, go kill yourself. 
All right? It'd be better of... for you to just kill yourself than offend one of the little ones. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, I'm going to skip down to thir uh, 13. It says, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they be yes. sound in the faith. And, and, and you look at, uh, you know, Apostle Gabar. He's rebuking that Captain Tazarek uh, sharply. He's been on his ass all week. All week, man, about this. Slicing and dicing up what he's been saying, man. He's made about, like, no lie, maybe like 10 videos about this. Like, uh, roughly 10 videos. Mm -hmm. You look on Apostle Gabar's page right now, yeah, it's about 10 videos, videos about this situation, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, and then, that's just Apostle Gabar. That's not including all the other brothers. Okay. The Lord is, uh, through the Spirit of Pahihabah, Shemashad, the prophets are rebuking sharply, man. Okay? But this is commanded of us, man. Because we got to defend the gospel. All right? This, uh, this is just a part of the uh, the job, man. You know, you get a job description. You know, when you you, know, right. you apply for a job, they give you, you know, oh, this is what, uh, here are your requirements. One of our requirements is to, to defend the gospel. All right? Because there's many false, you know, prophets and preachers out there. It said that in Matthew the 24th chapter that there's going to be that. All right? Before your house shot comes back. Mm -hmm. You know? Is there more than that? Uh... It says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. All right? You Carl Thomas emotional ass Israelites out there, as soon as you hear something in the scripture that you don't like, then it's like, uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can preach that. And the thing is, man, a lot of the, the thing that's happening in this is the main people this is happening to are brothers that have been dealing in the truth for years. These not these uh, uh, newcomers that have been in the truth for like one, two, three, some years. These big cats who have been in the truth for years. Mm -hmm. Dealing. You done heard every single breakdown. Well, I won't say every single, but you done heard a whole lot of breakdowns in the past, we'll say nine to twelve some years. But... Now on year 13, you want to get offended. Now you want to get offended or uh, 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 whatever it is. The so-called uh, young girl doctrine. All right. The concubine doctrine. Uh, uh, the, the black only so-called doctrine. I, I mean, you, you niggas been dealing in the truth for years. And now you, you suddenly just butthurt over the gospel. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, to a person that doesn't have understanding, but we do. We just know that it's gotten to the point where the Lord just don't want to deal with you anymore. That's it, man. You know, plain and simple. And you, you guys that want best false witness. Oh, oh they, they said King David, the damsel was 12 years old. They said to King David, oh, they deal with little girls. Bear false witness. And this niggas ain't got no damn proof. We ain't dealing with no damn 12 year old, man. You know? And any guy who's doing that amongst us, we kick their ass out, man. Nope. You damn. Look, this, I guess was you, there was more than that. No, I was done. This uh, Proverbs uh, 19 and um, let me see. Uh, hey, I started eight. He that gives wisdom loveth his own, own soul. And he that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished. Mm. And he that speaketh lies shall perish. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen to you niggas, man. They won't say somebody, oh, they, they rape women. Oh, uh, oh, they deal with little girls. You niggas like you, and you eat a mic's off, man, you, most sides are going to destroy each and last one of you, man. You're not going to go unpunished, man. The Lord's going to deal with, with y'all asses, man. And you know what the scriptures say, every out of word they should give account of in that day. Mm -hmm. You know, that, you niggas, and that shows you, like I said, they don't fear the Lord. Because what does the scriptures say? They say you should not bear false witness. You ain't supposed to Tell lies about nobody while we're having proof, man. Come on. You know? And that's what you emotional ass bitch made niggas do, man. And that's why the Lord's gonna destroy y'all asses, man. Look. I got a couple yeah. of uh, Con nothing else on there. Con I got a few real quick. This is uh uh Sirach fifty one and uh started one. I will thank thee, O Lord and King, and praise thee, uh my power, my self, my savior. I do give praise unto thy name. For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction, and from the snare of slanderous tongue. Mm -hmm. 
and from the lips that forge lies, and has been my helper against my adversaries. You see, the Lord is about to uh, uh, defend His men. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you people that uh, you can you know talk, you know, uh, you know all this madness, uh, you know, uh, for now. Hey, but eventually the Lord's about to start smoking you guys, man. Yep. You're about to get clicked, man. All right? Because what you're doing is a, a heavy offense, man. A yeah. very heavy offense. Yeah. Okay? All right? And uh, I'm going to jump down. To, uh, I'm going to jump to this. That was just a backup that uh, God, preset God, that you uh, brought out. I want to get this in uh, real quick. I'm going to start at uh, Jeremiah 17. And I'm going to start at 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted the man and make it... Th Flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. And that's you you, you still, you still trust Esau's ways, man. Yep. You po hey, you always said renewing your mind. You supposed to yeah. <laughs> when you come to the truth, man. You supposed to you supposed to put off that Westernized mindset, which you've been raised mm -hmm. up and taught. You know, which was which all bullshit. What did most I say? The wisdom of this world is foolishness to him, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? right. So you supposed to put off that old man, man. You know, like this. Hey, my get hey, this is what it is, man. Most I don't care about what nobody feels. This is what he said, man. Yeah, huh. That was it. I'm gonna go jump down. Verse nine. And this is for you guys. The heart is deceitfully above all things and desperately wicked. And your heart is your mind, man. Your the mind. Because we in this flesh too, you know. Yep. Yeah, go it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately desperately wicked. Who can know it? All right. Hey, you know, you know, as the elder brother said, hey, we're all in this flesh. You know, we all have these these thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that that come into our mind. But what do we do? We filter it out with the scriptures, man. Because because uh, what is it in um what is it Deuteronomy? Yeah, let them be frontlets yep. in front of your eyes. Yeah, you know yeah. what I said exactly? Uh, uh, I look for it for you. Yeah, yeah brother, because, can find that. Bible yeah, sure. yeah I, I try to look for it. Nah, but yeah, man, you know, yeah, we just play. Hey, it be some things in the scripture you be like, oh man, yeah. but. but you know, we, hey, it's just what it is, man. You know, this, hey, this is what the Lord say. We put aside out bullshit, emotions, and feelings. Uh, what was Deuteronomy 11 oh, and 18. Yeah, we put aside our emotional feel. Hey, this is what it is, man. We put aside our emotions and feelings, man. That's right. What we think, man. Can you get that real quick? And I'm gonna oh, get you want to read it real quick? Yeah, real quick. Okay. This is Deuteronomy. Let me see if I may have to read up. Uh... No, this is good enough. It's uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 18. It says, Therefore shall ye lay up these, my words, in your heart, mm -hmm. as the elder said, which is your mind, yep. and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets yep. between your eyes. So that means that everything that you see, everything that you think of, everything that you need to do, needs to be filtered through the scriptures. That's right. Because the scriptures will not lead you astray. Mm -hmm. That's right. And see, you guys, you don't do that. You, you, you uh, get caught up in your emotions. Yeah. And how you feel. You still the Lord don't give a fuck about how you right. feel, man. Exactly. All you right? You don't care, man. And y'all still into y'all flesh, man. Okay. You're supposed to kill the flesh, man. Yep. Yeah. I got this in Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says... Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see. It ask for the old paths, where is the good way. You see, you're supposed to ask for the old paths, all right? And that's the good way. Not this modern day uh, 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 society, man. Westernized this, this, society. Uh, this modern day philosophy. Philosophy is an Esau ass, man. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to go back to the ancient ways, man. Why is that? Because it's the right way. It's, this is the way of righteousness, man. All right? And it says, and walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not, it's like, we will not walk therein. And that's you guys. Yep. You're, right, you're being hard-headed, all right, stiff-necked. Proud. Proud, reje rejecting the truth, man. Mm -hmm. Being disobedient, okay? Uh, Just because you feel a certain way. Man, that's the sin of witchcraft. Or really witches, because what does scripture say? Rebellion is the sin, sin, of, sin witchcraft. of witchcraft. You got to put a witch to death. Yeah, say so, Thou shalt not suffer which to live. It was the Exodus 22 and 18. Yep, 22. Yeah, yep. So that alone, man, most I gonna destroy y'all ass. You're, you're through, man. Time. All right, you had some shot. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 13. And it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving 
and being deceived mm -hmm. because you diggers are out here scoffing, trying to rebuke, thinking that, thinking that you're doing a righteous thing. But see, what really happened is during the time of this truth, all right, you have to remember the Lord is refining us day by day by yeah. day. And what happened with a lot of you niggas, this word, it eventually got to the point where the Lord, this word, finally touched something real deep inside of you that you didn't even know that you had was wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And the Lord just kept bringing it out and bringing it out and bringing it out to the point where now you're just a, a, a damn reprobate scoffer, yeah. all right? Your only joy is just getting on the comment board, all right, talking shit, all right, as much as over the hundreds and thousands of edifying videos that are going out across the world, the world, not just the United States, yep. not just GMS Chicago, the world, out of all the edifying videos that are coming out, as the brother said, out of all the things that we can be talking about going into prophecy, all right, you niggas are coming up with this madness. And each time you all bring out some madness, the scoff gets worse and worse. All right? First, okay, when this whole rape doctrine come out, oh, y'all touching them 14-year-old girls. Now when it comes out again a few years later, now they 12. What's going to happen if this place around three more years? What, they going to be nine then? No, they already mm -hmm. said that. The scoff gets they worse did, and worse. Right, they said that like years ago... Uh, you know when that was like the heavy thing for like two years straight? Mm -hmm. They literally got to the point where we were, they were saying that we were raping like five-year-olds. Or some shit like that, man. Man. Hey, 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 but, 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 that, man, you motherfuckers gotta be destroyed, man. Boy, why you ain't doing Esau, man? Yeah, and we rebuke this society for that shit non-stop, man. Yeah. A lot of us had fucking children, man. The fuck you talking about? Yeah, the whole side gonna destroy you niggas, man. Fuck you. kill you motherfuckers, man. That's what he's going to do, man. Look forward to it, man, real soon. So just go ahead and have your fun now, lying, because you and your bitch-ass feelings of emotion. You, worse, you niggas are worse than women, man. Kind. I hate to quote Nas, but he said, you niggas deal with emotions like bitches. Yeah. All right? Continuing on, it says, you got me, man. <laughs> but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Because a lot of you guys were brought up being taught in this doctrine the, the correct and direct way. Yep. But as I said before, we're always being constantly refined day by day by the Lord. Yep. And eventually it gets to the point where that one nerve gets touched. And the Lord's like, oh, it's still something in you that don't quite agree with it. Let's keep bringing this out to see how this is going to play out. I mean, granted, the look, I'm being rhetorical. The Lord already knows how it's going to play out. Exactly. But he's doing it because, uh, through, through you to see how you're going to uh, act. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, he failed the test. So, I mean, I ain't dealing with his ass. Right. Okay. And then, so it says... Uh, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. All right? Because the thing is, you have to continue in this doctrine the way you've been taught. All right? Preaching the truth 100% correctly and directly. That is the way to salvation. And you, you niggas out there... All right, who want to scoff and, and bring up old re re recycled issues? All right, just causing chaos amongst the house of Israel. This does what? What? This is not going to profit you at all, man. That's why the brothers say the Lord is going to kill you. The Lord is literally going to kill you. Yeah, that's a like brother said. That's a heavy offense, man. You lie, bearing false witness. Get someone, man. All right. And yeah, the most I gonna destroy you niggas, man. You, you, you know, shit. Um, that was it on that. Yeah, that was the end of that one. Yeah, this is um Proverbs nineteen and twenty nine. Judgments are prepared for scorners and strife for backs of fools. Which is hey, scorners, you scoffers, man. You come up against the truth, man. The truth of the Bible, man. All right. So it said, judgments are prepared for you, man. Most I got some. For your ass, man. It's not going to be pretty either, man. Because we enter into a time of trouble that's not been since again at the same time. Jacob's trouble. 
That's for niggas like you, man. They won't be caught up in your feelings and emotions, man. And most I don't give a damn about that, man. What did he say? That's the, the, the title of this lesson is, man. And that's why all we teach, we teach you what the Lord, matter of fact, uh, let me grab this real quick. This is um, Jeremiah. Uh, and this is a scripture I find myself always bringing out, man. Man, I just lost it. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. okay. This is um, Jeremiah. 3 and um, 15, it says, and I will give you pastors mm. according to my heart, Ooh. not our own hearts, not the way we feel and what we think, and our own vain opinion. Mm -hmm. It says, I will give you... They said the Lord set them up. Yeah. This is Yahweh Bashim al Hey, you, you see, you guys, you're not fighting us. We're just the messengers. Yeah. And what does it say? I think it was in John, like, hey, if they reject you, you they rejected, rejected me. me. Yep. And then if they rejected me, they rejected... The one who sent me. Yep. So you really are rejecting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's not even us, man. And you're going to be fucking destroyed for that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no plain or no no uh, nice way to say it, man. You're going to be destroyed. And it's going to be in a terrible fashion, man. Yeah. Okay? Exactly. It says, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Who The mind, we just said the heart is the mind. My heart is the Heavenly Father. They're going to speak... According to the mind of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. All right, that's how you know who the ones who the Lord set up, man. If they teach it according to what the, the, the scriptures say. All right, which is the mind of the Lord, actually. It says, uh, and I will give you paths according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. You know? We're not going to be, you no. Know, yeah, the, the, the real man who the Lord set up, they're not going to be politically, what do they call it, politically, Politic, yeah, politically. politically correct, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. yep. so, hey, you're all PC Israelites, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, go on, yeah, just teach it. You don't hurt nobody's feelings, so you just being politically correct and shit, man. No, man, they're going to just tell you straight up, man. Not spare nobody, not care what nobody think, man. Like you damn guys do, man. Y'all yeah. uh, ask something? Hey, you got something on? Uh, let me see. That's, yeah, that, that was it on that. We got a quick one. Yeah. Straight to the point. Uh, this is Proverbs 23. 20, it's like in Proverbs 24 and 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Mm -hmm. He opened not his mouth in the gate. The main point is wisdom is too high for a fool. All right? And it says here in a quick one in um, uh, uh, Proverbs 29 and 9, it says, if a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. All right? And the reason why is because this wisdom is too hard for you. you a fool's never going to get it, man. Yeah. All right? It doesn't matter if they're laughing at you or they're enraged. All right? They're contentious. It doesn't matter, man. Yeah. You can't reason with these people. You're unreasonable men. Okay? Yeah, that's why I ain't no point. Yeah, like I said, we only put these lessons out for a lack. We already know two thirds. You're not, not going to ever get it. No, regardless, man, your 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 was your mind is sealed with a high oh, iron. Shit, that's a good story, man. I'll get that. Fine. Uh, I got something for you. This is Psalm fifty-one and ten. It says, "Create in me a clean heart, O Most High, okay. and renew a right spirit within me." Mm -hmm. All right, and that clean means a uh, uh, yeah. a ethically and spiritually pure. So, and this was a psalm of King David. He asked the Lord to create in him a ethically and spiritually clean mind. Mm -hmm. All right? Because your mind can't be filled with madness and clutter and pride, and you're still trying to go out and teach. You're right. still trying to go out and preach, so-called edifying the uh, flock. God. You're going to be coughing up madness, and you're going to cause the little ones to stumble, and really, you're going to be causing your own destruction. Most I gonna stir you for that, man. You know, <laughs> but you 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 got you cause other people to go off over your bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, most I set you up to do that. The point is, he's gonna destroy you for that. You know, for uh, um, uh, what I'm trying to say, um, uh, uh, causing others to stumble and fall, man. Right, to lead them astray. To lead them astray at the water, oh, right? right? And I'm gonna skip down to uh, 17. It says, the sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Yep. 
O power, thou wilt not despise. That's who the Lord's dealing with. He ain't dealing with no proud niggas, man. And that's what you niggas are, okay, man. I was just going to say that. Look at Captain Tazaria. His head's puffed up because he's got, you know, a few people, you know, giving him praises. Yeah, you got the title captain. But you can, you can see that pride. It's all over you, man. It's oozing out of your spirit, mm -hmm. man. That's why the Lord's not dealing with you, man. At all. It talks about that in, uh, uh, I forget, in the book of Sirach where it says that uh, pride is one... One departs from his maker. Yeah, I believe it's the yeah. And it talks about how, uh, a little bit later, how they basically, uh, you know, I'm roughly paraphrasing if, the, if you can get it. I believe it's 10. Because um, yeah. there's another one in there that says prideful, pride is hateful yeah. before God yeah. and man. Yeah, it's actually here. Can you start it? It's the same thing? Start at 7. seven. Yeah, 7 and jump down to 12. So, uh, 12, okay. I guess. It's in the same chapter. Yeah, the same chapter, yeah. God, God. <laughs> You done with that shopping? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, God, sword, God. Right? This is um, Sirach, <laughs> 10 to 7. Prideful, pride is hateful before Yahweh and man. Yep, everyone hates pride, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And by both doth one commit iniquity. No, yep, baby, you, you have that pride. Hey, you start committing iniquity. It's going to tell you why. Jump down to 12. God, it's going to break um, it down to you. This is um, Sirach, 10 to 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from yeah, how? And the reason why is because now you feel that your ways are better than the Most High's ways. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah. That the Most High has made an error. When yeah. you're not agreeing with the scriptures, you're saying the Most High made an error. And that's why I read in that Proverbs 13. Those who spy the words of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah shall be destroyed, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of said, the beginning of pride is one depart from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his maker. Yep. Yeah. And that's why the most I said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own damn understanding. Man. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's what you right. niggas are doing, man. Yep. Lean to your own understanding because of the way you, you, you feel. Because yeah, when you depart from the Lord, you basically tell you you hate the Lord because the scripture says, those that hate me love death. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the scripture says, all right, when you wander uh, from understanding, you remain in the congregation of the dead. So, hey, man, you you just mentally and spiritually done. Mm -hmm. So right. you start coming up with your own doctrine, rehashing garbage. Yeah. Like, like all these things, all these videos have been talked about and, and done over and over and over again. To it, it's, it's, This shouldn't even be coming up. All right. There's a worldly saying that goes, hey, man, spit it out. I'm, aren't you getting tired of chewing on it? Spit it out or swallow it. <laughs> Damn. And, and that's yeah. just the truth. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, stop chewing on it. Either spit mm -hmm. it out or swallow it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of you niggas keep chewing on it. And eventually your ass is going to choke and die. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's one more um, <laughs> verse to this. It's uh, Sirach 10, 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he... And he and he that have it shall pour out abomination. And that's what Ooh. they're doing. They're pouring out abomination, man. All right? Spewing out this madness. Mm -hmm. Talking all this, you know, trash, man. Okay, all this garbage. And the uh, Lord's going to destroy you for that, man. Hey, um, the scripture tell you, it's, it's sets the very same books that I tell you, most I hateth all abomination, man. Uh, you know, so it says, and therefore the Lord... Brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. And that's what's going to happen to you all. Okay? You're going to have a lot of strange things happen to you. The Lord's not going to give you a normal death. Because it says in um, Luke the 12th chapter, I think the 47th verse, that those that knew the Lord's will and did it not, they're going to be beaten with many stripes. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's going to go into heavy judgment, man. God. You, they're not going to just get, oh, he got shot in the head. He's yeah. dead. Mm -hmm. You're going to suffer, man. You might starve to death. Yep. You might be a cannibal. All right, you you might get uh, a car out here with one of these flesh eating diseases that that it takes days for you to die. Yep. But you feel every like you know, uh, you know, just all that pain yep. every second of the day. Mm -hmm. Lord's gonna kill you d terribly, man. He can destroy your mind, man. All right, he's already destroyed your mind actually, mm -hmm. which is a hey, the scriptures say, give me any plague but the plague of the mind. Yep. You people mm -hmm. have got the you don't even realize that you got the plague of the mind, man. Mm -hmm. Bugged out, man. That's that's scary, man. Yeah. That's scary. That's why I think the brother read that Psalm 51, man. Mm -hmm. Take not the Holy Spirit from me. Because yeah. it's, 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 it, it, you know, we're in the Spirit. We're, we see where they're going off. And you kind of just kind of like, you know, fall back a little bit and just look at it. You're like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. That could be me. 
I pray the Yahweh Bashim Yashah don't put that fucking uh, uh, that demonic, demonic demon on me, man. Exactly, man. Because the Lord can't do it. And, and you nigga, and when we all suffer, you're going to learn to fear the Lord that day, man. You think, think everything's a game now, nah, man. You better fall. And you know these men ain't doing this, man. A lot of these, lot of these demons know they, they lying, man. Yeah. They just fucking devil, man. Because you know how much people would be rejoicing if... If even 10% of what you all said about us was true, do you know how much these people would be rejoicing? Man, this would be all over the mainstream media. G person from GMS, uh, you know it would say uh, Black Israelite GMS Coke group gets yeah. arrested for pedophilia or rape or murder or some type of madness. Nope. That shit would be all over the news nationwide, yeah. but it's not. You don't even hear of brothers going to jail over some madness like that. That's how you know that it's a lie and it's false doctrine. Okay? This is Matthew 15 and 9. It says, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Like the brothers were saying earlier, you teach that westernized Christian, basically you westernized Christian Israelites. Yep. All right, whatever you don't agree with, you twist it to fit your own needs to appease the masses and the people for whatever your reason may be, whether it's pride, say, whether it may be for notoriety, money, whatever the hell the, the condition may be. Yeah, getting women. Getting women. Yeah. This is what you, you bend the doctrine to so that it can suit your uh, uh, weak-ass nature because that's what it is. Because when you start rebuking uh, uh, the true doctrine of the Lord, you just just a weak-ass nigga. Yeah, that's it, man. That's like the brother said, you ain't coming up against us. Because we speak, like I said, we speak in the mind, uh, mind of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. So you come up against the man he set up to do that, you coming up against the Lord, man. Who do you think the Lord going to do to you, man? Going to destroy your ass, man. Okay. Uh, anybody have anything else? Yeah. Uh, that, uh, Timothy, do you have something? Do you have more? No, that was it, sis. No, uh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to drop that Matthews. Con, I'll get this up. Uh, you just end it off with this. Yeah, yeah, Con. All right, Con. Um, this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. And you've been, and that, that's you. <laughs> yep, it says, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines mm -hmm. of devils. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's you guys. Mm -hmm. It's evident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your words show it. Yep. It says, speaking lies and hypocrisy. Hey, like the, the elder brother said, saying that, you know, well, first off, uh, you're, you know, you're spewing off this madness in this, uh, with this false doctrine, but then you're also sitting there uh, accusing brothers of, of stuff that they're not even doing. And guess what? It's, it's proof that he saw doing these things. Why? You ain't never saying nothing to him. You ain't never getting on his case about nothing. You fucking niggas, man. That's why I can't stand two thirds of you niggas, man. Yep. That's why I can't, I'm glad the Lord gonna bitch and kill your ass, Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Mm -hmm. All right, meaning that basically, well, what's in their mind, it, you can't uh, change it. At all. It, it, it's, it's stuck there, man, basically. It's stony. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you're already sealed, man. You're because there, man, there's uh, because the Lord's all about balance, man. There's two like uh, seals, basically, man. Mm -hmm. You got the elect that, that that are sealed, you know, in in order to get that deliverance and that you know salvation, and you got the two thirds, man. That like you're sealed for destruction, man. Mm -hmm. nice. we, 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 I, I can't do anything about it. This brother can't. That brother can't. Yeah. You are just programming the, the, the uh, destined to be destroyed. Hey, which hey, man, it's cool with me. I don't care. I just pray. Hope that the most I keep us and we endure to the end. Yeah. The hell with you, damn niggas, man. That's right. So that was it. That was yes. it for me, brother. Yeah, uh, so with that, we like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to Apostle Elders, the Great Millstone, and Peace Citations to Sasak and pushing his words, sincere truth and charity. Hopefully, this was edifying to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Give me one moment, Akim.